Welcome to another Correct Score Trading video tutorial from TradingFootball.eu. This time it's Ipswich versus Norwich. And we'd back some of the higher scores. Um, the idea being that if it was uh, low scoring or nil nil at half time, we would have um, backed some of those low score lines. Um, now, because the overs, uh, over 2.5 price was trading at um, around just a shade under even money, um, it's always quite likely that the 1-1 one, one, um, will come in. And I'd back this at 7.6 or £100 uh, before the kickoff, uh, hoping uh, to actually to lay off at 7.4, just to nick a, a, a tick or two there. Now, that didn't happen. Um, uh, and I let it go into play uh, for about sort of three or four minutes, and I did, in fact, eventually get matched. And that reduced that one all figure down to uh, £11. The total stake was £58 on this trade, so we wanted to be looking at our 20% figure of making round about sort of 11 or £12 profit, or, con or conversely, uh, £12 loss. Um, Norwich, we felt were the probably likely winners of this, uh, this local derby, um, hence the some of the correct score selections were weighted towards the uh, away side. Uh, there were favourites in this particular match. And they scored. So the first thing we do on a correct score is see if we can lay off our existing green. Um, obviously we're always with the intention of reducing our red, reducing our liability. And here we're looking at uh, laying the one, two, one, three, etc. The useful uh, new uh, feature of uh, Betfair is the cash out figure, and you can see there that I could actually get out now for five point four seven five quid, and then it could have changes rapidly, of course, as the odds, uh, the market sort of resettles, and I'm not going to cash out there because I would take a fourteen pound loss. Um, it's a very useful feature, the, the cash out, especially if you're you're doing you're trading just sort of the one market like this. Now we see Norwich had scored sort of quite early. I'm back on the cash out figure. Now there, um, you can see that I can get out for £13, which is exactly um, our 20% figure. And I could have done this. Um, I felt because this is a, a video tutorial, I would uh, not do so and, and, let this, um, and let this trade run and see if I could actually... Uh, get a higher figure than that at some point um, later during the trade. That cash out figure there, you know, is such a useful feature that you can, um, as you could see, I could have actually cashed out and, uh, and I would have made my 20%. However, um, we let it run. Um, let's call it just being greedy because obviously we've got all that lovely big green on all those figures there. So back to the of standard practice, which is again trying to reduce our red. I've laid the 1 2, I've laid the 1 3. I'm not laying the 2 1, that's drifted out quite uh, quite a lot, so I'm not going to be laying that at 17s. I do want to get reduce some of that green on the 2 2, so I'm asking for a price of 12s. Remember that our initial um, liability on the whole trade was fifty-eight pounds. I've reduced that now by twenty. I could look at the cash out figure again. So five five pounds sixty. Eleven pounds again. I could uh, get out there. There's my twenty percent. But as I said, for the purposes of this video, I wanted to see. Um, if we could actually uh, make some more, um, Norwich uh, were, were certainly uh, sort of bossing the match at this particular stage, <coughs> and uh, they duly went uh, two nil up. I still can't get this uh, two two matched, which um, you know, we're talking about sort of very sort of small stakes here. So this, this extra ten pounds is. Uh, it's something I need. I need to. Uh, I need to get hold of. So, I shall have to probably move that uh, 
figure of 12 is up to 12.5 just to try and uh, try and get that matched. Let's speak, nibble that uh, as we speak. And there we go. That's all matched. So we've reduced our liability um, by 50% uh, at this point. Um, still got some green there on the 1-1, one, one, the 1-2, one, the 1-3, one, so we can always play around with that. So back to the um, laying of uh, all those green score lines there, leaving um, sort of slightly higher greens on the 1-2 and the 1-3. The now the 1-3 one, was taken, the 1-2 hasn't been matched just yet. I'm putting in another lay of um, five pounds on the 2-2. Two, two. Now, at least our sort of first objective has been reached, uh, which is our maximum potential loss now could be five pounds seventy, which is sort of perfectly acceptable. Right, the two two lay is now gone in, so we can't lose anything. At least we've got a seventeen pound, seventeen pence maximum profit. Um, now, at this point, I can now decide well. You know, how much do I want to try and win? And what am I prepared to lose? So, um, it was 2-0 in the first half. Um, Norwich, as I said, were within the, in the ascendancy. It looked there were going to be two more goals. So I was prepared to leave, um, a sort of an eight pound loss on the, the nil two. So, uh, that's why I laid that. And that judgment was, um, justified as Norwich went into a 3-0 lead. The lay of that uh, nil two um, increased the potential minimum profit up to sort of five pounds. So now it was a question of uh, trying to reach this uh, twenty percent, this sort of twelve pound figure, if I possibly could. Um, any unquoted there, which is the next possible score line, um, I would have ten pounds profit on that. Nil three, as the score stands, sixteen pound there. Uh, and one three, there's twenty six pound profit there. Goals were flying in at Portman Road, and uh, Ipswich, in fact, um, pulled them back um, with about uh, ten minutes uh, remaining. So I had twenty six pounds there. I could afford to lay this and uh, an attempt to equalise um, our green. So we're. we're We've reached uh, our objective, certainly, which is the uh, 20%. We've got a minimum um, potential profit of £15 now. That quick lay of the 1.3. I'm looking for, for 1.8. Uh, laying that for £8 so I can get uh, an £18 green profit overall. Waiting for that to be matched. And as you notice there, that timing is as close as you can possibly get. Um, a goal was scored, it was suspended, and literally probably about less than one second, um, I managed to get my uh, layer of 1.3 in. Uh, one more second, uh, if the goal was scored a second earlier, um, that 1.3 lay uh, wouldn't have happened. Nice when it goes your way for a change. It so often happens when people are trying to get matched and the suspended sign goes up and, uh, and you've lost out, you are you know, potential um, getting matched and uh, very frustrating. This time is okay. Uh, the final score was 1 4 to Norwich, and our final uh, green profit was 18 pound 17p.